today. This is Tara with Tara's Creative Flow. Um, wanted to show you how to change the color of a wording of a word if you wanted it to match a picture. Say, for instance, I am doing Yo Gabba Gabba for somebody and I want to make this match, his name match. Okay, so I'm going to go to Joel. I'm going to... I have the Yo Gabba Gabba font, which is Gabba Land. It's a free download online if you're doing Yo Gabba Gabba. So there's, now Joel is in the, the Yo Gabba Gabba font. Now I want his name to be the same color as the Gabba, right? So over here, I would go to my color palette. You see this right here? It's a color dropper. So I would hit that. You see my word has the outline around it. I'm going over here and as you can see, as I go over colors, the little box with the dropper is changing colors. So now I'm gonna hit the pink I want. And once I tap it, Joel is the same color. Same as that color as the Yo Gabba Gabba. Say I wanted to do his name, I'm tapping it again, the color of this young, this guy here. I would just tap it. If I wanted to change it to another color, another animal, just tap it. So all you're gonna do is use your color dropper and you can use this with anything. This is how when I'm changing the skin hues or skin tones on um, pictures. I find, I, I'll find a picture I already used and I know how that brown or whatever color printed and I'll use, I'll import that picture and then I'll go ahead and color drop that brown to the new um, image. And so that I know, so that's how you can make your different, the same image different um, skin tones. And that's how you use your color dropper. I hope this was helpful. Bye.